Hi, welcome to the lab. I'm Ian Lauer. And I'm Ted the Day Coach. In the lab, we bring you information on supplements to help you build your best physique. Which supplement are we looking at today? So, today we're going to talk about glucuronolactone, which is pretty tough to say uh, nonetheless, but it's also a very obscure um, nutrient that is found in a lot of energy drinks like Red Bull and Rockstar. And, these kind of things. and they, 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 most of those companies put these things in those drinks because it's thought that it boosts your mood and it gives you a sense of well-being. Um, but the research is not conclusive on that. So um, although empirical, um, anecdotal evidence suggests that it, there could be some truth to it, but caffeine does this too. So you can't go on just empirical evidence, especially when you're talking about energy drinks. Um, and a lot of those drinks have, uh, have a lot of caffeine in them, so they can skew some of these results. But but it does. It is produced in your body from in the liver from the formation of, when you uh, in the formation of sugars, and so when you're uh, so we kind of produce it anyways, which is interesting. But just not in, not in, when you take it exogenously in some of these drinks or some of these other supplements that have them. Um, it is often put in there because of this fatigue fighting ability and because of this uh, mood altering uh, sus suspected mood altering um, enhancements that makes you feel uh, a sense of well being, a sense of the world is right, and that's the kind of feeling you want when you go into the gym. So oftentimes, that's the reason why it's put in there. Although, like I said before, the evidence is inconclusive. So for me, it, it's sort of a half thumbs up, half not. I think there's enough empirical evidence to suggest there's some benefit, but not enough to say, hey, go out there and try this stuff. Go out there and use this stuff intensively. It's going to work for you. It's going to work for everybody. I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't think that there, there's been any really good scientific research that could suggest that. So... You take it at your own risk, but there is enough to say that, hey, there could be something there. All right, Ted, some great information on that supplement. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us here in the lab. Make sure you click back soon for more great episodes.